Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and this is quite an intense planet to rule you because it's all about hard lessons and responsibility and you can use this to your advantage. You can understand at an early age or you can learn right now this second that responsibility is something that you excel in. And most importantly, if you make yourself responsible for yourself, if you understand your responsibility to yourself, you won't go down the self-destructive ways of Janis Joplin and Elvis Presley. You'll be able to flourish when you succeed and succeed you will. Even if you're not a financially successful Capricorn, I bet you work tirelessly and relentlessly to get up that hill. There's a part of you that will not give in. You are tenacious and that is a big part of success. Now, when it comes to love, you are an earthy lover. The symbolism for you is Pan, who is a little bit naughty, and also Enki, the Babylonian god, who was half goat and half fish, so therefore could swim in the sea and climb a mountain, was also a very frisky god indeed. You might not shout from the rooftops about your passion, but passion is very important to you and you have more passion in your soul than most people and certainly than most people would see. You are able to have a lot of endurance, shall we say, when it comes to making love. You, you like to be earthy. It's very important that you juggle it up and you allow yourself to express yourself more creatively when it comes to your love life or if you're in any kind of friendship or relationship. Routine is the number one killer of that relationship. But if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, they are probably not going to listen to you. You cannot persuade or demand that a Capricorn changes. And if you learn anything from watching this video, if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, if you insist on anything, they will dig their heels in and they are not gonna move. They are an immovable object. The only way that you can get a Capricorn to do something is charm and love and compassion and understanding. If you are like that, and a Capricorn chooses to, to love you or do anything for you, they will move heaven and earth to give you what you want. So it's a question of finding that balance, but it can be challenging because stubbornness is a very big quality of a Capricorn and, and having to be free, not in the way that an Aquarian needs to be free, which is to go off and do lots of things, but it's about feeling that they are making their own choices. And in a way, Saturn is responsible for that. It, it makes you want to take responsibility for your own life and not be led by other people. Now, there's a part of you that wants to achieve, but there's also a part of you that wants to be understood. But it's difficult because you're your own worst enemy and you know that, you don't tell people that, but you know when you're being stubborn and it's difficult to change. One of the keys to allowing your brilliance to come out and your creativity to give you the edge in achieving is to learn to be playful, it's to learn to let go. It's to learn to be the mountain goat that frolics up the mountain. It's to learn to be a bit like Enki and a little bit like Pan be a bit playful, learn to be childlike, do joyful things, run around in the garden with a hose, allow yourself to do silly things occasionally. And I know it's difficult because you're like, oh, I'm not doing anything silly. But when you do, you feel free. And interestingly, you're very drawn to lovers that are gentle and kind and warm and open. And then you feel very protective of those people. You're very drawn to it because it's something in yourself that you have that you hide under that shield of stubbornness. The biggest gift of being a Capricorn is that if you want to achieve something, nothing and no one can stop you. And even if things aren't going well for you now, in all likelihood out of all of the signs, you are likely to succeed because you don't give in and you're able to embrace life. When it comes to your spirituality, again, it's about letting go. It's about being in connection with the earth. It's about meditating and connecting with the earth and being the earthy be person that you are. But it's not about being drawn to something that's fundamentalist or something very rigid. And there can be a temptation for that. Allow yourself to know that you're pretty rock and roll. You're very, very open at heart, but you just like to be in charge of your destiny. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.